Yeah, let's let's build this. <gasps> are you kidding me? Did you see how many are coming? Okay, I might be in trouble here. Shiz. My armor's gone now. Holy crap, I didn't realize that many would come. Where did they all go? I want to see if I can finish this trap before they come back. That's what happens then if um, they escape. They find out where you are. And they escape. I mean, you saw how many were there, right? Holy shiz. My my armor's fully gone. Okay, this this is quite concerning because they managed to escape. Like, are they nearby? Or did they just completely leave? I mean, luckily they're all kind of weak. Okay, I need to make more more traps ASAP. A S A P like now. Like I was literally just making a trap. And then like I don't even know how many of them there were. There must have been about eight. I, I like I didn't I didn't sit there and count, but it looked like a lot. <sighs> I thought I was gonna be a goner. Like honestly, I thought I was gonna be a goner. I'm not even kidding. I can I know I overreact sometimes when I play like Minecraft and stuff, but my god, I was terrified when that happened. Okay, so we've built a noose trap. Uh we should have enough heads for the thing as well. A happy birthday trap. That might be quite cool to try and make. Although it is nice having noose traps because if I go in them, they're not necessarily going to kill me so I think I'm gonna make some more of these and then we can try some more of the other traps as well although these do use rope that's the only downfall I guess I didn't want to chop down all these trees did I I wanted to keep some of them let's chop down this one I hope they don't like come back with more like more dangerous mobs because there are some pretty dangerous ones. I think today is going well today in the game is literally going to be us Collecting resources, building traps, reinforcing our walls, because at the moment we only have one wall. I'm thinking maybe we have more than one wall. Because there are some mobs. I, I call them mobs. Like, what, what do you call them, really? Uh, there are some... The, um, we also have to chop those heads off. Rope swinging one. Dead fool trap. Okay, I guess we could do this. I'm guessing they walk through the stick part. Okay, so I'm going to build that there. So they, we're, this is going to be the main entrance, I think, for them. For them, okay? We'll have, like, a secret entrance, I think.
I'm guessing they walk through the sticks and it crushes them. I'm guessing. Yeah, I don't really want to try it, but... Maybe we'll have two. We'll have another one... Um, opposite it. Okay, so let's leave that there. Let's just chop this up. Two more. I did kill two of them. Where's the other one? Here he is. Okay, so we need one more head to complete this. Okay, so I want to create another one of those. Okay, so we need to rotate it all the way around. And we want it to be kind of like lined up with it. Okay, perfect. And then like we can just build a little bit of an extra wall or something here. We'll build an... Yeah, it should be okay. Okay, so we need more logs and we need some more sticks. So let's go collect some more logs and sticks. Man, this is intense. This is getting crazy. <laughs> I'm actually going to chop down some of these trees because it's good to have the vision, I think. And by the way, guys, if you are still watching this this series, I really do appreciate that. And I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am enjoying playing it. Because, I, I don't know, like, when I played this before I decided to record, because I thought, I'll play it first because I want to know something about the game before I record. Because otherwise, I'm going to be really noob. So I played it for a while, I looked on the wikis and got some, like, j just read it to see if there were any tips and stuff. And I haven't, like, I don't know everything about the game. I probably know about one-tenth of it all. Uh, there's lots of, like, hints and places you can go to and find stuff. Like, I will go and um, hunt. For, like, there's a katana that you, that you can get and stuff. I will go and try and get those, but... The fact that they're starting to attack my home, I need to reinforce this, and I hope you understand that. I hope this isn't a stick tree, because it's quite thin. I don't think it is. Yeah, I've got to make that bow and arrow. Okay, let's pick these up. Okay, I think we can fit one more on there. Yeah, I think that's the... Well, we might have been able to get one more. I mean, this isn't too, like, tricky or tedious or anything. Like, you collect, a f you collect logs fairly quickly, I guess. If I do make a log cabin, though, I'll probably do it off screen so it's a lot quicker. Okay, so let's pick these up. I didn't get sticks, did I? So we need one more log. And we need some sticks. There's normally sticks spawn. In these rocks, occasionally sticks spawn. 
I'm wondering if maybe we should head down to those berry bushes as well. We might be we might come across another cannibal, uh, which we can kill and get the last head, which would be pretty cool. Okay, so let's head over to those berry bushes, and if we see lizards here as well, that would be pretty handy. Because with lizards comes more armor. Because we stupidly, well, I say stupidly, it wasn't really, like, we had no choice. Um, we lost it in that last fight. I like eating these berries because they're just really quick and easy to find. I could hear something moving then. So while we're down here, we'll look for some... If you chop a bush that you can eat, like this one I can eat, it's not a blue bush, so... If I chop it, do I get the seeds? Leaf collected. Oh, so you do. Although, is it the leaves of the actual berry bush so you can replant it? Or is it just a leaf? Oh, we want that. Oh, crap. Okay. Let's get, let's get some more armor. Oh, I know what we need. You can actually, like, you either create it or you find it, but it's like a berry collector. I think you might even make it with, like, rabbit skin. Let's collect some of these, because we can replant these, you see, and make medicine. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, we need that bow and arrow. It'll be so much easier. Although, I wonder if you get the arrows back. Because, in fact, yeah, what's the point in making the bow and arrow if we don't have feathers? Like, I need to, I need to find out how to get feathers first. Between now and the next recording session, I'll do that. All you guys will probably comment it. But because I've recorded so many episodes at once, I'll probably uh, not see those till, it, till the episode goes out, you see. Okay, that's pretty cool. So we've got lots of um, bushes, stuff for medicine. We've got some leaves along the way as well. Might as well take that, because we can probably uh, cook it and eat it. In fact, let's just have a look. Rabbit fur. There we go. A berry, a pouch, can be used to collect berries. Okay. So what we do is we go to the berry bush. I'm g I think it's not to grow them. I think it's to eat them later. But... It's pretty cool because if you come across a blue one, which we did come across, I think there was one. This is a this is a blue one. So you can just collect them in case you're in like an emergency. It's really handy. Or if you come across a blue bush. Like I don't want these berries because they're not blue. Um, some of them are, like, bad to eat, you see. Um, but if you come across a blueberry bush, you can just collect them now, and it's great. So, that's pretty handy. I, I thought, I knew you could get a berry collector, I just wasn't sure how. But, yeah, you make it with two, um, rabbit fur. I'm surprised I can climb up that because I had really low uh, fatigue. Like he, ca he, I can't run, but I can climb a rope. 
Okay, so we can complete this. Okay, so whatever I do... I do not want to walk through that. But whatever happens, I do not want to walk through that. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to... We can collect these berries, you see, because we're growing them. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to save. And let's set our fire up so we can actually see. Okay, and what might be quite cool is to create... Because uh, you can create... Standing fire. This fire type is used to light your camp at night. So it might be quite cool to have one of these out the front. Like one here. And one here. So let's just light that. I mean, it might bring attention to where our camp is, but... Okay, so we need one rock for that. Is that a stick? It is a stick, but we can't use it. There's all these random body parts everywhere. Oh, there's a stick there. A rock there. How many sticks do we need? Three more. Got a stick two there. We need one more stick. Do we have any stored? Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, so we can complete that. Just means that um, when we get the walls up and stuff, we can light these and just see the, see the area. Do you know what I mean? Hopefully they don't get destroyed like the fires do. Because that would kind of suck if you had to keep remaking them. Because you can light a fire four times, I think, and then it and then it gets destroyed. So, infected, find aloe vera to heal. I still need to do that. So yeah, okay. Let's save. We need one more head to complete that. Let's, um, we can't sleep quite yet. Okay, so let's sleep. And save. Okay, so we've got some pretty good defenses right now. However, they can just walk straight around them. So what I'm thinking about doing is building some reinforcement, like some, some walls.